Joe Biden is going to be asked in this clip I'm about to show you about Medicare for All, a policy that more than 70% of Americans support and a majority now of Republicans support at 52%. Here's what he's going to say to justify his unwillingness to support Medicare for All. He's essentially going to make word salad. Take a look. What do you say to calls for some sort of universal health care? or something like Medicare for all from some of the other people running well, the Democratic I, look, primary. I, I, I think they're, they're well intended. I think they mean it. It's, and it's not, I'm not. But here's the deal. Um, right now you have 60, you have this overwhelming number of employers who are paying in a health care plan. Why let them off the hook? All of a sudden they don't have to pay anything? What happens then to this whole thing about profit and the rest? I mean, it is, should be part of the compensation if you have it. That was an incredibly idiotic justification as to why he does not support Medicare for all. Because, quote, you have an overwhelming number of employers paying into a health care plan. Why let them off the hook? So his justification is this is a benefit that employers should be providing. They give you money, but another part of compensation for your labor should be that they offer you health care. Okay, I don't agree with that, but it's one justification. But he then switches gears abruptly. He says all of a sudden they don't have to pay anything. What happens then to this whole thing about profit? So he talks about, okay, well, we should have let employers off the hook. But then what happens to this whole thing about profit? I genuinely don't know what he's trying to say here. Like, I thought about this and I tried to interpret what he was saying. I don't know what he's trying to say. What happens to this whole thing about profit? What are you talking about? I don't get what you're trying to say, Joe. He's making word salad here, and he's trying to make it seem as if he has this reasonable justification for not supporting Medicare for all, but this is not persuasive. In fact, this whole thing about profit is not even coherent. So why is he saying this? Why is he opting for employers to be the ones to bear the burden of something that governments deal with in basically every other developed country? Well, because a lot of unions don't like the notion of Medicare for all being approved because that's one way that they can kind of demonstrate their value to workers by getting employers to offer more health care benefits. So what he's kind of doing here is a wink and a nod to unions and I support unions. Joe Biden doesn't actually support unions because he associates himself with union busters. But if you're going to give a little bit of a wink and a nod to unions, wouldn't you be better off by proving that you support them by not teaming up with union busters, Joe Biden? Now, he claims, why should we let employers off the hook when it comes to health care? Why shouldn't they provide workers with health care? Well, in a system where health care is not guaranteed, where it's not free at the point of service, sure, I think it's incumbent on employers to fill that gap that isn't being filled by government. But why should we be letting government off the hook? That's the question that we really should be asking because government already provides us with a number of services. We give them our tax dollars and in return, they provide us with a military that will protect us from external threats. They give us drinkable water, theoretically. They provide us with breathable air. So why shouldn't healthcare also be something that they guarantee for us? Furthermore, a problem and really a flaw in thinking that it's important for us to have an employer-based healthcare system is that not all jobs offer healthcare. So if you're not going to mandate that every single employer offer healthcare, then this really isn't a persuasive argument to make because not every single job will offer healthcare and there will still be millions of people who will be left out. Furthermore, people who have an employer that does offer healthcare, well, maybe they offer healthcare that is shitty or maybe they offer healthcare alternatively that is good, but the job itself is horrible. Maybe that individual hates that job, but they feel as if they can't leave that jo job and they're stuck with their employer because if they leave, then they'd lose healthcare. Why can't you just admit that the reason why you don't support Medicare for all, Joe, is because you are in the tank of the health insurance industry. They're betting on Joe Biden to save them from the momentum that we see for Medicare for all. They're betting on Joe Biden to save them from Bernie Sanders, who they are terrified of currently, who they are increasing benefits because they don't want him to kill them. You want to protect health insurance companies. That's what this is about. That is precisely what this is about.
but he's too much of a coward to admit it. He's about protecting the profits of for-profit health insurance companies who don't actually care about the delivery of health care. They care about profits. They have a fiduciary responsibility to increase shareholder value. Whereas if government handled health care, well, they wouldn't have a goal to increase profit, to make revenue. Their one goal would be to deliver health care, which is why, theoretically speaking, you want the government to handle health care and not employers to handle health care. Because if employers handle health care, then that means that health insurance companies are still going to be responsible for the delivery of health care. And their motives conflict with what the American people need, which is health care. And Joe Biden either doesn't get that or he doesn't care. I bet it's probably a little bit of both. But either way, his answer here is incredibly ignorant and it's not persuasive, and it's one of the many reasons why he must be defeated. Because if you're not going to come to the table with any new ideas that would excite the base, you are playing with fire. You are a liability going up against Donald Trump, who's betting on low turnout to win. So if Democrats and liberals have any sense, they will avoid voting for Joe Biden. Otherwise, you risk another four years of Donald Trump. Because if Joe Biden is the nominee, I worry about his chances against Donald Trump. Could he win? Possibly. But is it very likely that he could lose? Yeah. In fact, currently, I'd suspect that he would most likely lose. Because we just put up a centrist in 2016 and she lost. And from what we're seeing in this early stage of his campaign, Joe Biden is more out of touch than Hillary Clinton, which is almost unfathomable to me. But he's more out of touch than Hillary Clinton. We've got to defeat him. Otherwise, Donald Trump will defeat all of us on the left in 2020.